Yes, sir. We are on the road. Let's go ahead and fire up this DoorDash app. See what we can get ourselves into. We in Chicago. Let's see how much they paying on Earn by Time. I know it's like 15 bucks back home. Look at that. Woo! They must have a peak pay going on. I see $20 an hour for Earn by Time. Let's try Earn by Order. Ooh, this got even more availability for the scooter. Look at that little hack. So you can get Dash now if you switch to a scooter, even if it ain't no availability in the car. Let's get it. I'm going to go ahead and switch over my location right now. And we're going to go for River North Loop. Put it on for about an hour and a half. And let's see what they send first. As you can see here, we on Highway 94, getting ready to enter downtown. Let's see what they got first for us. First order of the day. What is it going to be? Let me know if you would take this order. We got $9.50 for 4.2 miles, but here's the thing. We got a $2 peak pay. I didn't take it. I, I wouldn't advise you to take it. But let me know in the comments below. Do you take orders like this? That one took us down to 18% on the acceptance rate. Now, we did switch over to a scooter delivery, so I'm kind of surprised that they sent me a four-mile delivery for a scooter delivery. Next up, $6.75 for 3.4 miles. Again, with a $2 peak pay, that's $4.75 for three miles. And even if I was on the scooter, I wouldn't take an order like that. And I'm going to go ahead and end my dash because uh, I ain't got time to be playing around. Find two orders. Let's see if they send me one more. Next up, we got $16.37. Two pickups, two drop-offs, 11.9 miles. Basically 12 miles. That's going to end up being a 24-mile round trip. No, thank you. I went on a decline there. Next up, I got this $11 for five miles. Three items. Uh, I never been in this spot before. Don't even know what it is, but I hope it ain't no jewelry. Next, they sent me this trash offer: eight dollars for 26.6 miles, one direction. If you're coming back, it's even worse. So yeah, these are the first couple orders I got entering Chicago downtown. I was hoping it was gonna stay looking like this, but once I got in, it kind of died down a little bit. It took those peak pays away. When I log on to DoorDash, this is what I usually see not a lot of zones only three unless i head over to the st louis side but for the most part i like to just focus on my little area and it's not a lot of opportunity to do scooter dashing in my area so i'm like look i might have to go ahead and make a little trip to chicago because the access for dashing on a scooter is so much easier and widely available out in chicago than it is in my st louis market even on the illinois side there's really no availability for dashing on the scooter so look if you want to see some chicago scooter action go ahead let me know in the comments below say hey fda i want to see that scooter video out in chicago downtown chicago scooter video Today next i want to show DoorDash, you grubhub and uber eats on the scooter i'm right here by buffalo wild wings and oriental spoon and Papa Wings. we also got what's that penn station panera captain d's mcdonald's and taco bell let's see what come in first we're gonna make some money tonight first order of the evening we got eleven dollars for four miles if i was in the car i'd take that but we're not we on the scooter today eleven dollars for four miles is it, it's three to one it's almost three to one miles 20 ratio but the thing is i gotta travel like two miles that way to pick up the order and then i gotta travel another two miles north and then i may potentially have to travel four miles back on the scooter and that's gonna take up too much of my battery let's see if we can keep the delivery distances down to a minimum first uber eats order of the night eight dollars for six miles no sir we chilling we got lots of sunlight daylight savings time is over spring break is over so i don't mind waiting for that first order i was gonna head on over to the other side waste a little bit of battery but nah it's dinner time i know something gonna come through right over here something with like a one or two mile delivery distance keeping me right in this little bubble and the fact that i see the parking lot starting to fill up with a lot of customers at all of these different merchants over here I got faith that I'm going to get an order. And I'm about to log in. We got 2638. 10 miles on that one. That's a grub up order. Too many miles on that offer. Then we also got 325 for four miles. Upside down offer on the DoorDash. And then, Door then Grubhub came through with another $20 order. I think that one was 23 or something. 14 miles on that one. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but three orders that I cannot take. The first one I probably could have taken, but still, like, I don't like the high mileage on that order, so 
that's gonna be a decline too. Full order so far. Let's see what come in next. I was just getting ready to get up, throw the helmet on. I was getting ready to move, and we got one. Ten dollars, two point eight miles, right across the road at Five Guys Burgers and Fries. That's a great order because anytime you're getting, you know, three to one miles to money ratio on the scooter. Oh yeah, we winning. So let's go ahead, and grab this helmet, and head on over to Five Guys. All right. So we here. We made it. If you ever picked up from Five Guys, you will know that they don't even drop the fry to you. Get here. So we finna go check in real quick. Let them know who we heard picking up for. But again, they not gonna have this bad boy ready. So it's all good. We we gonna patiently wait for it. Nice little view of downtown Chicago right here. We are on Ohio Street. And we heading up to the hotel right now. This downtown traffic is crazy, boy. I know it can get kind of crazy in St. Louis as well. I'm pretty sure other major cities got crazy downtown traffic. But, man. See, this is why I knew I wasn't going to bring the scooter down here. For one, it's too cold. For two, look at this traffic. What? Just got done taking a look at the order. And it turns out we got a milkshake on this order, guys. But guess what? I came well prepared. Look what I got right there. The drink carrier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this one side down like that. Boom. And then I'm going to use this divider right here to keep everything, you know, from touching the other side. Then I got a towel right here. A towel bought from Walmart. Just to, you know, eliminate any extra space. Actually, I'm going to throw the milkshake right there. I'm going to throw the bag with the food. They got a little cheeseburger meal. I'm going to throw that right here. Zip it up. We're going to be good to go. milkshake right there got the bag right First order there. of the evening got That's it perfect. done all right now i'm right over here by the mcdonald's that i always be picking up from let's see what we can get next we ain't barely use no battery we still pretty much on full and we all got right so doordash just sent me nine dollars and thirty cents for 7.6 nope won't be taking that then uber eats sent me three dollars and fifty seven cents for 10.6 miles that's also going to be a decline. They also sent me 9.52 for 11.7. Decline that one. And let me see what else they sent me. That's it for right now. It looks like we got a grub hub order coming in. That one in. Let's came check in that at 14.52 for 10.7 miles. Lots of long distance deliveries on this Saturday night. But no, we're trying to get short distance deliveries. Three to one mile money ratio. That's the only types of orders we take it tonight. You know, ain't gonna be no earned by time, so no long distances, no high base pay. We depending on customer tips tonight. So we just picked up a little wing stop action. We got five bucks for one mile on DoorDash. I said, hell yeah. So we got that mug right there. No drinks on this one. But hold on, I got an Uber Eats order. Yes, sir. Out. We just got that order dropped off. Another five fifty added to the tally. We at fifteen bucks now. So this is my own personal highway right here. I deliver all my orders up and down this bike trail when I'm using the scooter, and I love it because, like I said, I get to go as fast as I want. I'm out here chilling. I can smoke me a blunt right here if I want to. No, I'm just playing. Save that for the crib. But let's see what we get next, next up. We got five dollars and fifty cents for four point eight miles at Cold Stone. I declined that one, and we got an Uber order coming in right Uber now. Eats. Uber That's Eats came ready. through at twelve dollars and forty two cents for like sixteen miles. No sir, that's also man. A they just hit me with all types of crazy offers. So let's just run through them. First, we got. I'm gonna do these in reverse order too. Seventeen forty four, two drop offs. 13.7 miles. No, sir. Didn't take that. All right, but no, sir. Even if I was in the car, I wouldn't take that. Then they sent me 450 for five miles on DoorDash. No, sir. Big decline right there. And let's see. What's this? Got an order coming in right now. We got a let. No. Let me see what this order is. Hold on. That order was trash. What else they sent me? 11.43 for 8.4 miles. Trash can. Then they sent me 12.42 for 16. We talked about that one. Whole bunch of trash offers. I'm walking the scooter down the bike trail because I'm not wasting no battery. Let's just see if we can get one or two more orders, man. I'm, I'm having fun out here on the scooter. I do love riding this thing. And I'm also finding new ways to enter new, these neighborhoods and go around traffic, basically. These bike trails is the way to go, guys. All right, so we finna do something I ain't never, ever did before. We just got an order on Uber Eats, 
two miles Jimmy John's and I'm about to stack it with this crazy bows and wraps offer I just got from DoorDash. It's also a $5 order for three miles, but it's heading in the same direction and it's right over there by my car. So now I get to complete two more orders and that's going to, that's probably going to be all the battery we got, but it's all hundred percent profit. I can throw all of this into the gas tank. And when I go out and do a shift in the car, now I'm gonna have a full tank of gas and I made it with all electricity. So come on y'all, we finna head on over. Look, I'm at the end of the bike trail anyways. I can't believe I had the camera facing the wrong way this whole time, that's hilarious. Look, so right here, I'm finna go ahead, hop back on this scooter and head to these delivery destinations. Let's go, we doing a dirty double. So, what do you think happened with that dirty double? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, look, if you enjoyed that video, do me a favor. Hit that like button and that subscribe button and let me know where should I take the scooter next and do some scooter deliveries for DoorDash. Should I do downtown St. Louis? Should I do downtown Chicago? Should I head to another city? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below because it is, it's, it's, you know, it's springtime right now, but we heading into the summertime, guys. And... I'm thinking about making some moves around the country, pulling up on a couple people. So if you want FDA Dash and Trader to pull up on you, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe.